Today we're going to learn how to play Button Man. Button Man is a simple dice combat game where the goal is to capture points by capturing your opponent's dice. I'm here with my friends Luna and Fiona. Yes. And we're going to learn to play this dice game. Uh, the characters that we're playing with are Tanya and Tony from the new Button Man set. And this is just a quick overview of the rules. Are you having fun? <laughs> Button Man is a really simple dice game where the object is to score points by capturing your opponent's dice. And your character card tells you which dice you use. So I've got Tanya, and she's got a four-sided, a six, a twelve, and then these two X's, which have to be the same size, and in this case I picked two eights for my X's. Tony's a little bigger. He's got a couple of eights, a couple of twenties, and another X. And you've got to pick your X from the, the dice that are in the box. So if you own more dice, you have more choices for your X. But he picked a twelve-sided for his X. We're going to start by rolling all the characters' dice. You want to roll for Luna? And go ahead and set them back out there. The player who rolled the lowest number gets to go first. Uh, I've got a 1, and so do you. And then the next lowest number, you've got a 3, and I've got a 4. So you're going to get to go first. And on your turn, you're going to capture one of your opponent's dice, either by making a power attack, where you use one die that's equal to or higher, one of mine, so 11 could take 5. Or you're going to do a skill attack, where you're going to add up several dice together, but it has to add up exactly. So you could do 5 plus 3 makes 8, which maybe that's what you would do. So you use the 5 and the 3 and take the 8. Mm -hmm. The 8 just goes out of play, okay. and you re-roll only the dice that you attacked with. So you're going to roll a 5 and a 3. So. And I get a 4 and a 5. Mm -hmm. So my turn, I'm going to try to take your 11. Let's see if I've got any way to add up to 11. I don't. That's too bad. The best I can do is do 5 and 1 takes 6. The bigger dice are worth more points, so I do want to get your 20s, but I'll do 5 and 1 takes 6. And that gets me that. So let's see, what have you got now? You want to look and see and make sure I can't take 11, which is still true. I've just got 8, 4, 4, and 1, so I can't make 11. So you don't want to roll that. I think what you would probably do is use this one to take this one, because you want to roll that 12-sided die and make it bigger. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll give you the six-sided. Take that, and you then roll I roll one. this one. And you got a two. That's not much better. Okay. No. But I still can't take your 11. Let's see if I can figure out how to make it happen. I'm going to take your 12-sider while I can, and I'm going to do it with this four. And I roll it to a two. Okay, I still can't make 11. It's your turn. Um, so I'd rather get a bigger. Well, you can't take the eight. Yet, unless you roll the 11, and that's risky because it might get smaller. Right. So I would say for now, just press your advantage and take one of these two with your with your four. You could do four takes two or four takes four. Which would be more advantageous. I'm not sure I know the answer to that. You want to take my bigger dice. You're going to take all of my dice eventually. Okay. so um, there we go. But now you also are kind of afraid of my big numbers, so maybe you want to get rid of my four instead of my two. It's really, it's really close at this point. Oh. Um, you're going to roll a four... I will do 8 takes 5. It doesn't do me too much good. Um, you probably would do 4 takes 4 at this point. Yeah. And, ah, and I got another 4. Well, you're safe, though. I, I can't make an attack anymore, so I'm going to have to pass. Okay. And then you would do 4 takes 2, and yep. that's the whole game. Right? And I won. Well, we, we don't <laughs> know for sure, but let's, let's count our score. So your okay. score is equal to the size of the dice that you took plus half of the size of the dice that you keep. So you're going to get 12 and 8 is 20 points. Uh, another 10 is 30. 38 points for the dice of mine that you took. That's another 10 and another 4 for that. I have way less than that. I have 32. I have 40 points altogether. So yeah, you definitely won that okay. game. It is possible for a bigger character like Tony to lose even though he keeps some dice. Let's set that up. Uh, Tanya, let's say Tanya loses everything and Tony loses all but his 8. In this situation, Tanya's score is 20, 40, 52, 60 points. Tony's score is 12 and 8 is 20. Here's 10 more for 30, 38, and then half for the die you kept, so that's 42. 42 to 60, because Tanya gave away so few points. Tony still lost the game, even though he kept one of his dice. 
If Tony wanted to restructure, he might change his X for something a little smaller. Let's put him back together. Let's make Tony's X into a 4, and then maybe we could try that again. Okay. But that's, that's the basics of Button Men. Now, different characters have different kinds of dice that attack differently, or they're worth different kinds of points. But these are just the basic dice, and those are the basic rules. And uh, what do you think? It, yeah, I think it's fun. Well, it's a good start, anyway. Thanks for playing. Yeah.